Creating websites can sometimes be overwhelming for beginners and even professionals at times. Your business or personal projects may not always require a full-blown website. This is where a one-page website can be ideal to quickly provide information to visitors and potential customers. In this video, I will show you how to build a one-page website in WordPress by using Seedprod. No design or coding experience is needed at all, and by the end of this video, you will have a professionally designed and mobile-friendly WordPress website. This video is brought to you by Seedprod, the number one landing page builder for WordPress with over 1 million users. It features a drag-and-drop page editor that makes creating pages quick and easy for everyone. Please subscribe to the channel for more videos and to learn how Seedprod can help create amazing landing pages for you. So the first thing you want to do is actually get Seedprod installed into WordPress. So let's head over to your WordPress dashboard and we want to visit seedprod.com or visit the link in the description below. And in this video, I'm going to be using the pro version of Seedprod. So you can go ahead and click on get Seedprod and create an account. After you have an account, let's go ahead and log in and enter the email address and password that you signed up with here on the left hand side and click login. Once you're logged in, let's click on the downloads tab. And you can click the orange button here to download the plugin. Next, we also need the license key here on the bottom left. So just click the icon here to copy that. And we can close this window. Next, let's head over to plugins in WordPress and go to add new. And up top, let's click on upload plugin. Next, we want to drag and drop this zip file right here. Or you can click on this button to choose the file on your hard drive. Let's go ahead and install now and activate the plugin. Next, Seedprod will ask you for your license key. So we can paste this right here and verify key. In the top right hand corner, you should see a success message. If you're using the same browser as I am or similar, you can go ahead and close this tab at the bottom. Next, let's head over to pages under Seedprod. And now Seedprod is going to ask you to select a certain mode or to create a new landing page. So we have coming soon mode, maintenance mode, login page, or 404 page. In this video, we're creating a new landing page. So let's click on this button. And Seedprod is going to ask you to choose a new page template. We have filters here to filter all of the templates because Seedprod comes with over 100 professionally designed and mobile friendly templates. I'm going to search for one called investment. And this is a squeeze page. And I'm going to preview this. And I'm just going to import this one just to give us a little bit of a head start. So I'm going to choose this template and then give it a name. Since this is a one page website, I'm just going to call this home. And we'll set this as the home page for our website on the domain name. Next, let's go ahead and save and start editing the page. And there we go. We're ready to edit with the drag and drop page builder. So on the right hand side, we have the editable page. And on the left hand side, we have our blocks. We have our standard blocks advanced blocks, and WooCommerce blocks. We don't have WooCommerce installed, so these are grayed out. And then to add content onto our page, we just literally drag from the left and we can put it directly into our page here. Now each block you can edit by clicking the cog wheel here. And on the left-hand side, you'll see the options change. Now each block is different based on the type of it. So this is a headline. You can modify the text in it, the font size. This is a video. So of course, it'll be asking you for a video for YouTube or a custom one. I'm going to go ahead and delete this video for now. And now let's start editing the actual page. So for our headline, I'm going to click on the cog wheel and then update the text. So this I'm going to say have delicious meals delivered to your door. So I'm going to create a one page website for a service that deliver fresh meals to your door. I just want to emphasize that what I'm creating today, you would just update for your content. So you can apply this to personal websites, a business website, or some type of niche website if you need to. You just update the content, change the text, the images, the colors, the fonts. And then we just simply publish this and your website is live. So we have alignment here. Right now it's left aligned, but you could center this or put it to the right if you like. I'm going to leave it to the left and we can change the font size. I might make this a little bit bigger. I think 55 looks good. And the H1 level is fine. Under advanced, we have topography. So I could change the font family, the font size, line height, etc. I'm going to leave this alone. I think it looks fine. And we also have global settings. So down here on the bottom left hand side, we can click the cog wheel. And these are fonts, colors, background that apply to the whole page at once. So for example, colors, we can see we have some orange colors here and some darker colors. So for example, if I come down here, I'm going to change this text. You can see that that turned to an orange color. I'm going to actually change this to maybe a darker gray, not totally black, but a darker gray there. And our headers, maybe we'll do, since this is going to be farm fresh foods, maybe we'll do some type of green color here. Next, we have our buttons. Now, if you see that our button is orange, but this button is white, this means that the color is being applied to the block directly. So that button has a style applied to it. If I cleared the style on this, it would turn into this color here. 
So we also have a button at the bottom and this one is orange. So if I select the button and change this, you can see that the global style is applied. So if I change this to black, that one will change, but this one will not. And we have our links and our background. So right now on the page, I don't think there's any links. We just have some buttons. And then our background color currently isn't being used. We actually have background applied to each section here individually. So I'm just gonna go through and I'm gonna update the text here. So I'm gonna click on this list block and we have three options here. I'm gonna delete the bottom two and then click on this to open it up and change the text. You'll find that most of the blocks in Seedprod work this way, and it's very easy to modify the content. There we go, customize each meal for all family members. And we also have a check mark here, so you could change this icon if you wish. So I'm gonna type in right and maybe change this to an arrow. And there you go, you can see that that's updated. I'm gonna click this again to minimize it, and I'm just gonna duplicate this. So we have a second one and maybe even a third one. And then I'll just customize the text inside of here. And there we go, we have three options here. Next we have our email opt-in box. So if I click the settings here, you can see it's an opt-in form. And we have an email field and we have the name. The name is invisible, but we could make that shown. I'm gonna keep it invisible. Same as an opt-in confirmation. The fields look fine. I'm just gonna minimize this and go to the submit button and change the text here. And for the background color, I'm gonna select this and I'm actually going to clear this and that's going to use the global setting, the global color that we used earlier. Lastly, we have the success action. So right now, after they submit and click the button, it's going to show a message saying, thank you, we'll be in touch soon. You could change this message or you could actually create a thank you page and have them redirected to that page if you wish. I'll just leave this to show the message for now. And I'll just update the text here to say, thank you, more information has been sent to you. We also have templates. So these are pre-made designs. So if I just click here, you can see that this instantly updates the style. If you don't like this, you can actually use the undo or redo. So I'm gonna click undo just to go back to the original here. Okay, great, that looks great. Now on the right-hand side, let's click on this image and I'm going to delete this image. And now we have two options. You can upload your own image. So if I click here, you can drag and drop a file into here to select it from your media library, or you could use the, a stock image. So we can click here and do a search for a specific image. I'll just type in farm fresh and I'm going to go with this image right here. Great. The next thing I want to do is update the background here and, and get rid of this orange. So I'm going to select the row settings and I'm going to put a solid background color here and I'm going to go with some type of green. We could try this one. And now this image here, it's quite tall, so we could crop it out or you could modify the row columns. So we could resize columns and now we can click the middle of this and just adjust it slightly that that picture is a little bit smaller. And there we go. Now, if we scroll down the page, we have this section that we can modify and then the footer here. First thing I'm gonna do is come down to the bottom and select this section. And I just wanna put a different background color on this. That's a little bit more gray so we can distinguish between the section a little bit better. Up in the middle one, I'm gonna do the same thing, section settings, and then just change this color a bit. I might actually just go with white. And now I'm just going to do the same thing. I'm just going to update the text here and the text on the right hand side here. So for these, this is an icon box. So you have the icon here, you have the color, the size and the alignment. So this is for the actual icon itself. And then if we minimize this and open the text, we have the header text, which is, is my rental property business. And then the text underneath that. So again, it's really easy to change. The icon we just update like we did up here for these little icons, you just click and you can select a different icon or search for one. And same thing for the text on the left-hand side here. Just easily change the text here, the alignment if you wish, the font size, and the level. There we go. So I updated the header. I updated the text here on the right-hand side, the headline, and the icons here. And I changed the color to this gray color. I'm going to get rid of this text here, and we're going to drag a video block right here. And if you click the cogwheel, then you can change the YouTube URL here to make sense if you do have a video to offer people to watch. And there we go. I think that section looks pretty nice. I might actually change this text here just because there's a lot of green going over here. So I'm going to go to advanced color and change to that gray color. And that kind of breaks it up a little bit. Next, I'm going to come down and I'm actually going to add a new section here. So I'm just going to click the add section and let's go ahead and add columns. And first I want to add a single column and I'll come back to my blocks and just add a headline here. And I just want to update the text. So I'll change it to our customers eat better every day. And I want to change the background of this section just so it's not two white sections back to back. Maybe something in the light yellow or beige. Just a subtle change here. 
Next, I want a little bit of text underneath here. And I'll just update the text. I'm going to center this and come to back to the blocks. I'm going to search for a block testimonials. I'm going to drag this right down here. And I want to click on the cog wheel. And now on the left hand side here, we can edit our testimonials. So we have the name. If I click on this, we have the text, the person's name, and their title. Then you can add another testimonial if you like. So I'm just going to go ahead and update the testimonial text, the name, and the job title. There we go. I have a testimonial from a woman named Susan, and I updated the picture to show her face. Let's minimize this, and you can change the alignment if you like. I'm going to center this. And here we have enable comment bubble. I'm going to turn this off. And below we have carousel settings. So this is this will rotate through each testimonial. So I'm actually going to add a second testimony here just so we can see this in action. Okay, so there we go. I have a second testimonial. Let's go ahead and save the page right here, and you can preview it. And now we can see our page so far. If we come down to our testimonial, you can see that this will change after five seconds. There you go. We can see another testimonial here. And of course, you could change the font and make this stand out a little bit better. You could put a background around that or keep the bubble around it if you like. I'm going to come under the advanced tab for the testimonials, and I'm going to come under topography. And I'm just going to change the font size a little bit so it stands out a little bit more. So it's easier to read for people. As well as the color, I'm going to make this a little bit darker. There we go. I'm also going to select the section settings here, and I just want to add a little bit more padding here. So I'm going to go under advanced and spacing. And here we can add our padding and change all of these to zero, unlink these, and then just change the top to 50 and the bottom to 50. Now we have a little bit of top spacing and bottom padding here. Okay, great. Next, I'm going to add a footer here. So let's actually just create one from scratch. So I'm going to delete this and come down. I'm going to delete the copyright here and that row. And we have a section here. Let's pretend that's gone as well. So now we can just click down here to create a new one. So create here. And I just want one row. And I want to add a headline. So I'll drag a headline over here. Go to block settings and change the text. Next, I want to add some text under here. And I'll update this. And center this. And then lastly, I want to use this here. I'm going to duplicate this and just move this down the page. Next, I don't want this form so big. I'm just going to select the row here. This is the blue one. And just bring down the sizing of this whole section here. Let's do around 600. Finally, let's select the section settings. This is the purple section. And let's go ahead and add some spacing. So again, we're going to add the padding to the top and bottom. So 50 and 50. And then I think the last thing I want to do is maybe let's try adding a background image to this whole section. I'm going to use a stock image under background image. There we go. And I'm going to select, let's go with this one here. And I'm going to change the background position to full screen cover. You can see that that's adjusted. And we have the section width that we can change if we wish, but full screen is what we want. All right, let's go ahead and save our page. And we can preview this again. We can come down and look. There we have our different sections. We have the testimonials and our footer. Again, you could add more sections. And if you want to add, let's, for example, add an FAQ section, but you want to save a little bit of time, you can come back to the blocks and then click on the sections tab here. And here we have some pre-made sections that you can enter into your website. So for example, here's an FAQ. We do have other types of sections as well, not just FAQ. Let's go ahead and add this one. And now I have this whole section added into my page. Update the picture, use a stock photo, And then enter the text here. We just have a accordion here. So the same type of idea. We just change the text and the text here. And now you have a FAQ section on the bottom of your page. Or you could drag this whole section and put it up here. And there you go. Again, so we save, preview. There we go. In seconds, we now have an FAQ section here. So they can click and read all the information. All right, again, let's make sure our page is saved. And now we have these opt-in forms. And if you come into the connect tab here, you can actually connect these forms to your favorite third-party email marketing service so that all of your email signups can be handled through them. So for example, if you want to sign up to Constant Contact, you can click on connect, make sure you have an account with them. And then you want to connect your account and they're going to provide you with an API key that you can just paste inside of here and then click on connect.
And then we also have our page settings here. So this, you can change the page title, the page URL, the page status. Right now we're in draft mode, or you could publish it. You can also publish by clicking this little down arrow and clicking publish. We also have a seed prod link that you can show powered by seed prod at the bottom right hand corner with a little button if you wish. And if you like, you can add your affiliate URL here if you want to join the program and get a 20% commission on all sales. We have an isolation mode. This will help prevent conflicts with your theme or other plugins. And we have a Facebook app ID in here if you need to use that. For SEO, we recommend that you install all in one SEO. It's the number one SEO plugin for WordPress. And the same thing for analytics, we highly, highly recommend Monster Insights, which is a fantastic analytics plugin for WordPress. If you need to include any scripts into your header, body, or footer, you can paste those in here. And if you like, you can hook up a custom domain. So mynewdomain.com, and this will point to your landing page. So this is this URL here. Just if you wanted to have a new URL point to that specific landing page. If you want to learn how to do that, we have some documentation here for you to read. All right, so let's go ahead and save our page. And this time we're going to publish it. This will put the page live. So let's see the page. Now this is still a preview URL, but we know that the URL is at home. And there we go. We can see this page is active and live and we're ready to share this. However, we want to add this to our front page, right? So we have, this is our current default WordPress page on the domain name. So let's come down to settings and then reading. And under here, it'll say your homepage displays and we want to select a static page. For homepage, we want to select home. This is the page that we just created and save your changes. The next, when we come back to our homepage, we can refresh and now we see our one page website, which has been fully customized and is looking great. Now that you know how to create a one page website in WordPress, maybe you'd like to check out this video on 11 types of landing pages guaranteed to convert. This will help give you great ideas on the types of landing pages to create next with Seedprod. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.